Oh man, I had two doses and he was out. What am I doing? Smoked. What have you beat him? Doesn't matter, bro. We're not counting, bro. This isn't the real deal. The tournament is tomorrow. That's the real deal. Now that is absolutely correct. Dead Man Mode finals are tomorrow. And the question is, can I win? Probably not. <laughs> well, I'm going to be off ping. And as you can see, I don't really have the best in slot gear. And there's two reasons for that. But one, the bow is a four tick weapon rather than a five tick weapon. I think it's going to confuse a lot of people. I'm not going to lie. The extra hits on the bow of Ferradin is actually very strong. That's actually a good meta. He's actually very smart for doing that, in my opinion. And the second reason is this gear is actually insanely cheap. I paid about 150 mil for the Spectral, and then all the other gear in total literally cost me like 50, 60 mil, and that's it. She's too cheap to get a real- Arcane and Elysian Spirit Shield. So yes, we have horrible ping, and yes, we don't have the best gear in the world. However, we've won first place in 10 different NH tournaments, placing top 3 in over 15 tournaments, profiting 13.8 billion GP and over $5,000, which is more tourney wins than any other player, including the highest win percentage on Tracker as well. It's like hard to do both while balancing on this. Now in preparation for this tournament, we've also done a lot of practice fights against some of the best PKs in the game. This includes Ali, aka 1013, and of course, Omar, aka Mr. Odeblock. So that is what today's video is going to be about, a bunch of practice fights against those PKs. I'll also talk about the PvP tracker today and teach you guys how to read it as well, because RNG is unfortunately such a huge thing in the game, and the only way to actually tell who deserved to win a fight is by checking the tracker. You've got some like perfect ring on or something. I don't think I've hit over a five. Nah, man, track is not accurate, you know? I deserve to be beating the best PK right now on his own ping by over 300 damage. It's, it's, completely, <laughs> it's completely deserved. GG. Okay, so I just beat 1013. Now the question is, did I deserve to beat 1013 or did I just win because of RNG? RNG. Now let me explain why and I'll also go through real quickly how the tracker works. Now before we explain why, we have a quick message from this video sponsor, Ridge Wallets. Now the Ridge Wallets are designed to fit easily and perfectly in your front pocket. It's light, it's sleek, it's industrial, and this wallet can hold up to 12 cards plus more room for cash. And that's actually insane for such a small wallet. Like I cannot believe how much room is in here. Now there are over 30 different colors and styles to choose from, including carbon fiber, burnt titanium, which is the one I personally own right now, aluminium, and also polycarbonate. Now these are some very high end materials, basically meaning it's gonna last you for life. And I'm not even joking. I got this carbon one a few years ago. And as you can see, it's still in perfect condition. Rich have also designed them to be made with RFID blocking technology, which basically just protects you from digital pickpocketers. On top of all that, they also have a 45 day return policy. This means that the Rich team are so confident that you'll love it that they've given you 45 days to test drive. And of course, if you don't like it, you can send it back for a full refund. Now if all that wasn't enough to win you over, Rich has over 40 thousand five star reviews. So if you're sick of carrying that big bulky wallet or just trying to figure out what to get someone for their birthday or Christmas, then what are you guys waiting for? Visit ridge.com slash panic and make sure you use code panic for an additional 10% off. Now this top line doesn't actually mean too much. Don't worry about that. The ones that matter the most are the next two lines. And they're the two that you always see on my screen because they are the only two lines that matter on the PVP tracker. Now the top one is the most important. This is your deserved damage, which basically means the amount of damage you were supposed to do had RNG not been a factor. In other words, this is like the equals at the end of an equation or the X that you are trying to find. This is it. This number right here, plus 83, means that I deserve to win that fight by plus 83 damage. Pretty straightforward. And then the second line is basically what actually happened. In other words, I beat my opponent here by 72 damage when I was supposed to have beaten him by 83 damage. Now, this is an example of a really good fight that did not have a lot of RNG because the deserved damage amount and the actual amount were very close. Now let's compare it to this tracker down here. Here. Now, this says I should have won by plus 12. However, I lost by over 230 damage. So this is an example of me deserving to win the fight. I mean, at 12, you'd probably call it a draw since it's just like one or two hits. However, I got absolutely destroyed by over 230 damage. That means if we come full circle, we have a look at this tracker right here. 1013 did in fact deserve to win that fight by 15 damage.
last words. <laughs> what was the tracker on that fight? I'm down like 300. Uh, What's the draw? That's like the most demotivating thing in the world. If you're down like 200. A few moments later. Bro, you are legit the most unlucky. Like, what the fuck is your RNG? Please, just one hit. All I'm asking for. One. I actually haven't hit anything the whole fight. That's true. Imagine this happens in like a tournament. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just I ended up winning this one by over 200 damage, even though we actually drew on Tracker. Then in the final fight, the RNG finally went his way and he got a win. And ironically, it was the one fight he didn't do very well and didn't deserve to win as well. The final score ended up being 3-1 my way, but that is RNG and means absolutely fuck all. All that matters to us is the Tracker who actually deserved to win via skill. And in that regard, we drew 2-2, which wasn't very surprising for either of us since we always verse each other to practice and to get better. And to finish we have of course Picnic versus Odoblock the rematch. I mean it's not really a rematch since both of us are just kind of practicing setups neither of us are good with yet. And I'm on a med level 80 defense. He's not using entity harder for half the fights and our gear is completely different. But fuck it this is the first time we've both been on at the same time for a long time and it's the best we're gonna get for now. <laughs> Holy fuck. Bro, that's a lag you should have ever done. Forgot what 220 ping feels like. One on tracker. It's okay. One on tracker. And another tracker win. Now at this point of the fight, I just realized that I had been using the bow like it was a crossbow, meaning I was shooting every fifth tick instead of every fourth tick. So that is why we practice with weapons we don't normally use. So if I didn't practice with Oda today, I would have rocked up to the tournament tomorrow and gotten absolutely smashed, all because I forgot that the bow was a four tick weapon. Yo, yo, it's 22 months, my man! Look at Oh just ignoring that comeback and chilling. Bro, I'm being serious. He performed better than me, I think, on that one. But I did get a good comeback in. I did very well coming back, utilizing the redemption and everything I had to do to make that fight more in my favor, if that makes sense. Yo, Picnic, thank you for the fights, but I'm gonna I'm give everybody else a chance. 10 mil if they beat me, but yo. Appreciate the fight, brother. GG's to Mr. Odoblock in the end. We ended up drawing, I believe, 3-3. And we won 5-1 on trackers. I deleted one of them by accident, but it was one of the ones I won anyway. So yeah, a huge shout out to Mr. 1013 and of course Mr. Odoblock for doing a bunch of practice fights with me. I think I'm ready for tomorrow. It's going to be really tough with high ping and with shitty gear compared to everyone else with the Ellie's and stuff. But, but you guys can see how big RNG is. Anyone that is a good PK can literally win it. The odds are pretty much the same for all of us. So, so anything can happen, especially with the sigils. And it should be a whole lot of fun. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the and I'll see you all tomorrow. What are you waiting for? Do it! Yes, I'm real.